What does it say? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Instead of beware of dog, it says aware of dog. That's funny. On the floor inside is a box of pom... Uh, pom... Pomer raisins? I don't know what the hell that means, but whatever. It's a pile of mushy snow. Cool. Yeah, Jape is basically like a practical joke or, or something to that effect. Whoops, I didn't even not want to do whatever the hell I'm doing. Oh! The hell? Sands. It's a lump of snow with the word Sands written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. That's funny. They made little snowmans of themselves. <laughs> Oops. I think I do need to solve this puzzle then. Do I? No, I guess not. Let's just go through here and hit this. Damn it. I want to hit the swatch. I messed it up. Let's do this, though. I should be able to do it. I should be all lined up to just hit that switch and then move on, right? Yeah. I did it. Wow, I had a dog on my head. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get another dog for going through this area. No, I said snow that time. Aw. That's really, really silly. I wonder if I have a dog in my head this direction. Nope, okay. Well, I had a dog in my head for a second, and that's always worth something. What's this say? Woof. What a tiny dog house. It's a snow puff. I don't know what the hell a snow puff is, but apparently it's that thing. What are you? Hi, dog. Oh. <laughs> Okay. It's the greater dog, because I already killed the lesser dog. That's really funny. God, look at how doofy he looks. That is amusing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right, so when he does spear things, I'm not supposed to move. The greater dog is waiting for your command. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Alright. Um, and this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's funny. Alright, what's down here? Anything interesting? Well, I've already completed all the random counters for this area. Oh. Alright, uh... I... Uh... I... It's a door. Okay, if I interact with the mushrooms... Oh, the mushrooms are like little lamps. Okay. So I guess I can't come through this area yet. Well, we'll come back here. It should be fine. Right? I don't know. Uh, that was... This is weird and scary. This game is so damn creepy. Why? What are you? Go the fuck away. I don't want to see these eyes. And this creepy-ass music. And just... Oh, man. I hope everyone's enjoying me playing this game. It's interesting. It's a very, very, very interesting game, but it is very unsettling. Ah, it's, uh, these two. I assume they're gonna cut the bridge down. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. <laughs> it's a Pomeranian. <laughs> Tied up. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up. What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they are going to walk th through it and it won't be any fun at all. So this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them, so I'll become a famous royal guardsman, but all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party without traps and fire. Exactly, it's pointless. Maybe you're right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah, what am I saying? You're still completely wrong, I just have the wrong audience. Think about how much fun Undyne would have had near flames. Violence is right up her alley. So I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. Oh, they learned a valuable thing about friendship. Phew! A valuable life lesson, yeah! 
I'd be pretty damn pissed off if I didn't puzzle, if I made all these puzzles and it didn't work out. Guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're gonna have a bad time. Stop fucking with my head. Oh, God. Welcome to Snowden. Which is, makes me think of Edward Snowden, but I assume that it means Snowden as in Snowden and you can't leave. Uh, off to the shop, I guess. But nobody came. Well, we'll read. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. All right, we'll steal shit, apparently. Oh, look, I, I can get a bunch of money. That's good. And I guess we'll take all these, uh... We'll take all these things. Uh, oh, I, I can't take anything else. I have to... I have to use items first. All right. So... I have snowman pieces, which are useful for... Uh... Let's read the info on them. Heals 45 HP. Take this to the ends of the earth. All right. Uh, spider donut. Oh, what if what if I just uh, use the tough glove, which just makes me think of tough love. But I digress. So the toy knife is uh is weapon attack three, and I have uh attack of five. It looks okay. That's pretty good. And let's just go ahead and drop the toy knife. Okay, uh, and I might as well hang on to the snowman pieces so I can carry them to the ends of the earth. Because that's what it told me to do, right? Far be it for me to, uh, to throw away some sort of, like, thing like that. Um, so, Tough Glove has zero, plus zero attack. So I fucked up by throwing away the, uh, thing. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, no, no, I already, that, ah, okay. So it has five attack, and the old one had three. So this is a, a difference of plus five. Or, a difference of zero, whatever. Because I'm currently equipping that. Okay, uh, manly bandana. We'll definitely take that. And I don't need any sort of healing items. Let's leave, though. And... Item, we'll equip the manly bandana. And, um... Throw away the faded ribbon. Every time I stop thinking, I just remember Toriel, and I get very, very upset with life. It's merely a decoy. Uh... Alright, well I can't go behind the counter. And I also can't go up to the to the second floor of the inn. Weird. Uh, what's this say? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the Undersnow Tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. So... Whoa. What the hell are you? Nothing for you. Why not? Yo! Everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes, huh? Don't they know we've got uh, Undyne to protect us? And grill bees? And it's open. Cool. Let's go in. Ah, why is nobody here? This is lame. Can't go through the fire except because you're not made of fire. <laughs> Clever game. Jukebox is broken. Can't we just hit it then? It'd be like... And then, hey, there we go. I guess not. Can I pick these flowers? No, we can just walk around them. Uh, to the library? What does it say? It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn to dust. And funerals who take the dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing, then their essence will live on. I'm at the minimum page yet. I'm kind of sick of writing this. Monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are stronger than us. They will never the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Some unfinished book. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Uh, let's end the chapter there. Monster History Part 4. Fearing that humans no longer, we moved out our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. 
but the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Okay. Uh, well, that was the library. That was fun, wasn't it? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Yeah, of course, it's empty. Oh, poor Papyrus. So I guess that's Papyrus's house. Oops, did I want to do this? Not really, no, I really did not. I'm gonna go to, like, up, though. Like, we'll do that for sure. Does this person have anything more to say? No, okay. Uh, I wanna go up and see what's going on north side of town. Anything cool? No, there's another house. No answer. They're all hiding from me, apparently. Can't say I blame them. I guess I can't go into that little, like, hopper thing, either. Little cliff. I assume that there used to be something there, but there is no longer anything there. For whatever reason. Alright, so. Let's, uh... Let's see. I'm gonna skip Papyrus' house till the, as long as possible. And see if I can just, uh... What are those things back there? Is that the ocean? That's weird. Let's see if I can go into Papyrus' house now, though. It's locked. Oh, never mind. Can I appear in the window? Nope, okay. Well, let's go... Let's just continue onward, then.